25 points off turnovers. Um, you know, the one area we did a decent job in was the rebounding. And that's probably a lie because they didn't miss many shots. So there weren't many offensive rebounds for them to grab. Um, we didn't guard Anthony Edwards all night long. Um, and I think in that first quarter that they hit seven threes. So it was from the get go all the way throughout. Um, no defense and uh, too many turnovers against a team that thrives off turning you over and scoring. And again, 25 points in that area. So uh, yes, I would agree. Those are the two things that stood out. Uh, I wouldn't say it was just, I mean, they didn't feel us. I mean, it was, I mean, Anthony Edwards had zero free throw attempts. He just danced with the ball and, and shot three after three. And we just refused to get into him. I mean, so, um, or, you know, whether Towns hit three, Beverly hit three, Russell hit three, but Daniels hit three, they didn't feel us. So yes, give them credit. They shot the ball lights out. Uh, they were the more physical team. They were the more aggressive team. Um, but I wouldn't sit here and say, oh, they, they just hit tough shots. No, they, they hit shots that they were open. And, uh, and, and we never, for whatever reason, never really adjusted our aggressiveness or, and we kept on guarding Anthony Edwards like he was 0 for 14. So yeah, what, it wasn't them catching fire. It was us not having the correct defensive disposition. No, I, I well, he'll probably get some testing after the game, Harrison. I uh, hate to see that in a season where we've seen that quite a bit, unfortunately. Um, I asked Dan really quick if there was any updates near the end of the game. Dan Shemensky, our head athletic trainer, um, he thinks maybe he, he hyperextended it. Uh, so I'm just hoping and praying that uh, it's nothing severe. You know, um, probably the, the only positive from tonight was uh, PJ Dozier walked in our locker room before the game. Uh, and that brought a huge smile to my face, as well as everybody else's. We all love PJ. Uh, we all miss him. And it was great to have him back uh, uh, in the building tonight. But no no update on Marcus, keeping our fingers crossed. I mean, with these injuries, how do you, how do you I guess, keep your spirits high for when these, these pretty significant injuries, it seems like, keep, keep bothering the media? It's hard, man. It really is. Um, you know, we'll play tonight, but he wasn't, you know, he's, coming off of a sickness, you could tell he wasn't himself. Um, you know, the injuries continue to pile up. It is hard, but I have to find ways to, um, to help the guys and lead the guys that are available. And that's my job as a leader and a head coach. Um, as much as your heart breaks for the injured players, and as much as it makes it that much more difficult to be a team that can put some wins together, this is our situation. This is our current reality. So we have to embrace it. We have to face it. Um, and find a way to fight through it with those that can. Uh, and that's what we're going to do on this upcoming road trip. What can you tell us about Bones' situation? Do you expect to have him available uh, first game of the road trip? Yes, yeah, Bones will be traveling with us tomorrow and be on this road trip, and uh, we'll be able to go. He was sent home tonight, uh, violation of team rules. Um, um, but I love, the, uh, love him. He's got a bright future here, and uh, he will be on our road trip, and he'll be back playing um, come Atlanta. Appreciate it, everybody.